Hi, I'm Jack. I'm Rob. I'm Eliel. I'm Justin. I'm Thomas. And we are Someday You'll Know Us. Wow, that cool. was Cool! We managed it! Right off the bat! That was great. Cool! We don't have to do that again! You're watching Concert Junkies, Rob and John. Hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon to be notified. So, this all started when me and Tom met on Facebook and we had this band called Tomorrow Sun for a little while. Thank God we changed the name. Please don't look it up. It will mortify me. Meanwhile, Jack and I met a few years back at bar and became good friends and showed similar interest in music. Yeah. I met these people through Facebook. <laughs> Pretty much. I, I met Rob at uh, some guy's house when we were in our old band, Worst of Fate. At some guy's some house. Guy's house. That sounds so safe. You can look it up, but there's gonna nothing will pop up. So. <laughs> You'll never find it. <laughs> there's no record. <laughs> and basically, throughout the years, uh, we've just kind of changed members so, until we've gotten to this configuration of the band, where I am the singer, Tom is our bassist, we have our guitarists, Ellen Rob, and we have our drummer, Justin. If you want, you're fired. <laughs> That's what this tastes. We like. fire him. <laughs> we fire him regularly. So uh, the first concert I went to was at Philly Stadium with my parents when I was 14. It was Jimmy Buffett. Lots of drunk people and fun have fun being had. Um, the first CD I ever bought was actually. <laughs> If you can believe it, it was a Duke Ellington CD, and I listened to that thing non-stop. You're not going to hear any jazz in this band. Uh, and then my main influence for starting music and for playing the music that I do would be Derek Trucks from the from the Tedeschi Trucks band. Justin, you knew what you were saying. Speak. Yeah, uh, Speak words. Speak words good. My first concert, I think I was 12. 11, 12, and uh, my parents took me to see Bon Jovi at, now, uh, now it's called MetLife. Um, yeah, I saw Bon Jovi and that was like big for me. And my first CD was either Avenged Sevenfold to Nightmare or self-titled. And when I bought it, my mom heard the F-bomb in the song Nightmare and she immediately took the CD away. And I haven't seen it since. <laughs> I, I, I refuse to buy another copy knowing it's somewhere in the house, but I just... <laughs> It's gone. <laughs> and uh, my inspiration is when I was in seventh grade, I joined the marching band, and at the time he was well, he, he was my best friend all through middle school and high school. He was a year older than me in eighth grade, and he was our snare player. And he just he blew me away. I, I saw him do. I watched him do blast beats and play Metallica's one that uh, the double kick part that one time, and I was. Astonished. Okay, concert. my first concert was um, Extreme, um, a 90s band that not a lot of people know. So yeah, that was my first one, and I did see them again last year. So yeah, I like them that much. <laughs> and <laughs> oh, okay, next time. <laughs> um, CD. My first CD. It's not very impressive, but it was the a first. Album by Foster the People, Torches. Yeah, I still listen to that to this day. And inspiration, um, I would say that I was always interested in guitar, like even before I've seen a lot of people playing. But I did see a video of ACDC performing, um, what's that one with the uh, Thunderstruck? Yeah, I saw him, <laughs> I saw um, a video of that, and that kind of just started my interest. Well, I'll get to that. Alright, uh, my first concert was Stain with Shinedown and Savelle. I think I was either a sophomore or a junior. I'm not too sure. Uh, my first CD was Newfound Glory, the one with uh, so uh, Sony on it. Boy and Girl Fighting on the CD cover. cover. No clue what's the name of the album. Uh, and who inspired me when I was younger, it was definitely Fieldy from Korn, and now that I got older, it's probably Sky from Issues. My first concert was uh, May Mayhem Festival, I think 2010. The uh, four main bands were Fakir Death Punch, Lamb of God, Rob Zombie, and Korn. 
So that was a really big turning point for my music career where I started to actually want to do this. But what influenced me originally was the, the first CD I ever had that I remember was uh, Breaking Benjamin's Phobia CD. I didn't buy it myself. My sister bought it for me for a Christmas present and I wore that thing to nothing. So they were a huge influence on me actually starting to play guitar. For to mental preparation, you need the thought process and like... They're talking no. physical idol. No, physical like, what idol. Do what are you mean? bringing me? Bring in, you're bringing mental preparation because... No, you're, you're not! Waste all of it. This song from Cats? <laughs> you're gonna get trademarked! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna pull well, back the trademark. We're gonna do that tour, yeah. Yeah. Shut up! Shut up! Give me, give me the kitchen! Give me the kitchen! Damn it. Alright, uh, when we go on tour, the thing I'm gonna need to bring with me is probably my decanter of scotch. It's, it's absolutely necessary for me to stand Justin. I guess for me, I'm gonna need a couple bottles of Jaeger. <laughs> for the same reason! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We're, it's a party bus! Okay, for me, I would definitely bring my iPad and to practice because I just like have to practice at least once the whole set through before actually performing. So yeah, I need that. If we were to ever go on tour, I would definitely, it's really generic, but I'd bring my phone because all my contacts are on there. Uh, my uh, Call of Duty account, I need to keep up my points and XP, I guess. It's really, I, that's the only game I have on my phone. That's my only game on my phone. Yeah, no. It's going to cut around here for you. Uh, what do I need? Just snacks. Just what I want to bring. Snacks are Backpack important. full of snacks. Yeah, it's good. Justin. If you weren't playing music, what would you want to do with your life? Die. Death? Quickly? Painfully? Really, like, really, really? Are we talking like 10 years ago when I still had a choice, or are we talking <laughs> like... If I wasn't doing this, I would really work hard to try and become a professional surfer. I've been surfing most of my life. I guess for me it's either between getting certified as a welder and trying to go for underwater welding, or try to get into the independent wrestling circuit. For me, I'd probably try and make a career out of YouTube. Um, <laughs> granted, I'm younger than him, a lot younger, and I, st I still have choices and doors open, but uh, I wasn't doing music. I didn't plan on continuing music, I know I want to be an uh, engineer. Um, if I would go back and try to do something else, I think I'd become a history teacher. History's awesome. When was the War of 1812? In 1812. Uh, so the full band answer for this is definitely Reverb. We loved playing there, it's been a great time, they're always great with us, and they have some great acts that come up there. I actually really like playing um, the clubhouse at Tom's River because it was very like mm. comfortable and kind of like homey, and it kind of just felt like us just playing somewhere at home. I also really enjoyed playing at Dingbats out in Clifton, New Jersey. Mm. That was a fun show, nice stage, sounded yeah, pretty good. Good people too. Absolutely. Who I would love to play with and wear would be Streetlight Manifesto at Starland Ballroom. I would do just about anything to play with those guys. They are so much fun to see live. I've seen them live once and they are so worth it. I guess for me who I'd like to open up for with this band is Alkaline Trio at the Asbury Park Convention Center because I've been a big fan of Alkaline Trio for a while. But personally, I would like to play House of Independence with Wage War and Halcyon Lost. Personally, I would just like to play with Coheed and Cambria, open for them, and I'll just, I'll go wherever they go. Good honestly. choice. With the band, I'd like to play Mastic uh, with Mastodon at the Stone Pony. So, uh, but personally, uh, to play with Empty Vessel anywhere. They're another local band. So I think we're, we're not the same genre, but we're both locals. So. Uh, with the band, I would like to open up for uh, issues, obviously. And then personally, uh, Ice Nine Kills. <laughs> yeah. And really, any concert hall in New York. I just want to play in New York. That'd be fun, yeah. So, February 15th, someday you'll know us is going to be playing with The Language, Holly Drive, and The Diner Neon at the Clubhouse in Tom's River. And then the 16th, literally the next day, we're going to be playing at the Crossroads up in Garwood uh, with Painted Young, Taste the Butane, and High Wind, and we're going to be opening for Vista. 
You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Please follow us and like our pages. It would be much appreciated. Alright, so this is Abyssal Spotlight. It's a song about being up on stage for us and not for other people.